What's up, guys? It's Brandon Flash. Today, you're joining me at what I believe is the largest charging site in the U.S. outside of California. And I'm going to give you guys a bit of a brief tour here. We've been here before, but it's expanded. So as I mentioned, we're at what I believe to be the largest charging installation outside of California in the United States. There are a whopping 78 stalls installed. Not all of them are operational yet, but they are all here ready to go. Some are waiting on additional power, but there are 48 Tesla Supercharger version three Magic Dock stalls already installed here, live operational. There are 10 uh, Mercedes ChargePoint Express Plus uh, DC fast chargers, and there are 20 uh, version four Tesla supercharger posts uh, awaiting power or commissioning. So let me give you guys a tour. We're here at Bucky's in Temple, Texas, and this is actually the first video I'm shooting on the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Uh, so give me a comment down below what you think of the quality, if it's better than my previous 14 Pro. Uh, going to be putting some of the new audio features to the test here, shooting outside at Bucky's in the wind. So as I mentioned, this is Temple, Texas Bucky's. This is one of the largest Bucky's. Uh, Bucky's always keeps outdoing themselves, so it's hard to keep track of which ones are the biggest versus not. And it's actually hard to capture the immense scale of this site, uh, just given how spread out it is. But you've got all of these Tesla supercharger stalls. Every single one of these has a magic dock, so we'll walk up to one shortly. Um, they're all the prefabricated supercharger units. So you can see the cabinet um, with each four posts or four saws. Um, so we've got refresh model three. We've got a whole bunch of model threes, model Ys, model Ss. We've got another refresh model three. So we have two transformers there, each of those 2,500 kVA. We have a Rivian charging over there. We have an ID4 charging there. More of the version three posts. So let me just walk up to one of these and show you guys. So if you're not familiar with Magic Dock, the way it works is that it's actually an integrated CCS1 adapter from Nax. So to release this, so if you're a Tesla owner, you just pull down on it, switch to the ultra wide here. So if you're a Tesla owner, you just pull out like that. And if you're a non-Tesla owner, you press and hold for two seconds, you push up and you pull out and Magic, you have the Magic Dock. So this is actually the label 9D there. You can see the Tesla part number because Elon is a child. And to put it back, you just put it right back in there and you can get your NAX cable again. So pretty slick. I've done a whole bunch of videos on the prefabricated supercharger units like you can see here, but basically takes power directly from the utility transformer and then it brings it in here. And then this is actually a service rated entrance and this is then your disconnect and there's no switch gear or anything at the side. It's just transformers straight out to all of these. Here you can see what it looks like with a ID4 charging, just like that. And again, superchargers as far as the eye can see, we're gonna go down to the version four and I can actually see two vehicles using the Mercedes stalls now. So we're continuing just walking along. There's the Rivian charging. They're actually using an A to Z adapter. Look at that. Interesting that they're using their A to Z adapter instead of using the Magic Dock. I'd be curious why. I have heard some reports of the actual integrated Magic Dock adapters being limited versus, or thermally limited versus own provided adapters. And as usual, Bucky's is just an insane mess as far as traffic. So we'll see how long it takes for me to get over there. Well, it took a little while to cross there, but here we're over at the version four posts. So here we have the new transformer. This is another 2,500 kVA. Uh, looks like the meter is energized. So appears that we have power. So that's a little bit interesting that these are not live yet. We're going to come over here. It looks like they split off one of the posts from the version four uh, prefabricated unit. 
or actually these are not this set of stalls is not a prefabricated supercharger unit they do have the attached disconnect so that's slick um, however this is not a prefabricated supercharger unit like the rest of these are so these are all at grade they have the handicap signs indicating that these are accessible there you can see a modem or not modem uh wireless access point in aruba so that's for tesla's on-site wi-fi and then these are all of the prefabricated supercharger unit version four posts so pretty interesting to see this this is the first time i've seen one and these are actually smaller than the version three posts this is farther forward um and then behind the cabin or behind the post is actually narrower as well and from what i've seen this allows them to fit one additional one of these onto a semi-trailer versus with the psus so most of these are covered looks like they're awaiting commissioning um, let's just look at the labels here so it's the same attached disconnect that they use on the version 3 prefabricated supercharger units and it's the same 387 kva uh supercharger post or cabinet and then over here we have the mercedes equipment so we've actually got a blazer and an r1s charging there as a texas sized drain that's for sure uh unfortunately you can't really see anything in there you can see a little bit the uh there you can see the charge point express plus cabinets and then you can see that they actually have their own transformer so these guys they did an integrated power module from virginia transformer so that's very interesting i haven't seen anyone use one of those before and we have the r1s charging we have the blazer ev charging <laughs> I've actually yet to see a blazer just out on the road charging. And then here we have reserve parking and van accessible. So interesting signage choice there. Let's see the price. So it says use plug in charge or payment method below. So these are 51 cents per kilowatt hour. And these are Phoenix contact liquid cooled cables and these are not the new uh magic dock nax handles and then two more stalls here or two more uh units here uh with two cables each so four more awaiting to be commissioned apparently or at least appearing that way uh and just for reference on price the tesla stalls are 47 cents a kilowatt hour whereas these mercedes ones are 51 cents a kilowatt hour so definitely interesting on pricing, close enough that it doesn't really matter, but still, why would you pay more if you don't need to? Um, and you're probably going to get the same speeds on the superchargers. So yeah, that was a full tour of this Temple, Texas uh, Bucky site with soon to be 78 operational stalls, um, over 50 already as of today, and just absolutely immense scale. Uh, you can see pretty good utilization on the existing 48 stalls that it's definitely necessary to have a very large amount of stalls more than you would expect if this was a 24 stall or 20 stall it would not be enough because those would all be full and there would be a line anyway thank you guys for watching if you haven't already hit the like button hit the subscribe button love to hear what you guys think of the video and audio quality love to think hear what you guys think as to where large sites like this should be um, Texas, I think, is one of the best examples of where they need to build these.